Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 12th of October, 2022. So there's a lot going on, as I said, when they started to bail out the gilts with the 65 billion, it wouldn't work and it wouldn't last. And certainly that's the case. Uh, yesterday, Bailey made an announcement uh, to the markets. You have three days to sell all things. And I think this is to do with the toxic, well, not toxic, but um, high yielding gilts and um, corporate bonds are also included. But if you want to really know what's going on in detail, then have a look at this video with uh, George Gammon. The UK financial crisis is getting worse. And as you'll see from his whiteboard, he explains absolutely everything that the Bank of England is facing. I haven't got time to actually put all of that into the market alert along with my usual stuff, but well worth a watch. It's uh, 17 minutes and you will understand exactly why the Bank of England is in uh, panic mode. So uh, go and have a look at that if you want to understand what's really going on. Uh, US stocks finished mostly subdued after Bank of England Governor Bailey ruled out an extension to gilt purchases beyond Friday. So three days to uh, get rid of everything. Well, I, that isn't going to happen, is it? Um, Bailey ultimate, ultimatum sees late session dash for cash, people getting out of the markets. Uh, economic news today, GDP from the UK flat is the prediction. Uh, MPC member Phil speaks at uh, 12.35. We've got PPI from the US. And then we've got uh, Lagarde speaking at uh, 2.30. And uh, day one of the G20 meeting. And then this evening we've got uh, an FOMC meeting minutes. And that's ahead of tomorrow's uh, CPI numbers, which will be out at 1.30. Gold-silver ratio moving back. It's uh, more or less uh, regained all of the red bar there that we see. You see more or less complete 100% uh, retracement there. So silver continuing to be crushed as the US dollar moves higher and the pound down to 109. So let's have a look at the markets uh, yesterday. Managing to hold despite uh, panic mode of uh, the Bank of England at the moment. Uh, sideways at 78%. If we... Uh, break this level then we're going to continue lower. You're going to have to wait and see now if uh, the Bank of England will actually stick by the words and uh, not do anything after Friday with regards to uh, purchasing long dated uh, gilts. It's a crazy uh, statement to make I have to say and that could send the market into panic mode uh, uh, in and of itself. A uh, 30 minute chart uh, yesterday the Dow moving higher initially and then Bailey speaking, and that uh, put the kibosh on everything, the market back down. Currently above uh, the DP at the moment, looking slightly uh, bullish for the run-up to a high, maybe in the morning session. But uh, yeah, uh, it's interesting to see what's going on with regards to, to the Bank of England. It's a dynamic I've never seen before, but certainly panic mode is uh, what we're seeing at the moment. And they're trapped, aren't they? Because if they carry on with QE, that's going to add to the inflation. Then they'll have to raise rates to combat the inflation so they are painted into a corner as it were but the markets at the moment are stable about it all let's see if uh, they'll call his bluff when it comes to friday in the uh, dax also trading to the 62 percent of retracement yesterday two days of uh, demand there and looking positive at the moment on the overnight as you can see there uh, prices uh, heading back towards the dp but struggling with the 50 ema at the moment needing to hold above uh, the close as well. Yesterday, the low played an important part in bringing prices back, and I use this uh, to my advantage along with the, the psychological level, which I'll show you in just a moment. The uh, five-minute chart, as uh, you can see there, sell-off initially, then we came back up, and then eventually the market succumbed to the downside. We then saw the uh, New York traders coming in with the Dow bringing the market back, and then uh, as we got into uh, the sort of late lunch, uh, the sell-off came into the markets, uh, traded down to the low and then moved higher after. And this is one of the trades that I did. So let me just uh, show you this. OK, the first trade here, I was uh, short um, from early on, 9.14, somewhere around there, perhaps a bit uh, earlier than that. Uh, market made its way down, moved the stop, just trailing the stop down, had a profit target there to tie in with the low if the market got there. But unfortunately, I had to leave the desk at a meeting 
and uh, decided just to take uh, the profits just in case we had uh, a rally off this level because on the odd occasion the market doesn't go quite to the low plus we got a lot of physical support here and uh, demand and we were oversold so we're likely to, to get some sort of a bounce so uh, I got out as uh, you'll see there and then uh, the market moved back up now this is a second trade here uh, this is the one in the afternoon when we, came, we actually came down to the low and as it came through the low I focused on uh, this BRN here uh, with uh, the again the physical support price support area there and, and just let this one uh, do its thing and uh, you'll see this as I just uh, fast forward through uh, we came down to it and then we sort of bounced off and then eventually the market was hit and then all of the trades for yesterday I'll just bring it back I just did a run a report off uh, the uh, MT4 platform and there you can see uh, that we've got uh, 561 profit we had 78 on Monday so we've added to this uh, profit factor 165 which is obviously massive we've got an 85% uh, win loss ratio just one loser and uh, they're all shorts as well uh, on obviously taking advantage of those uh, down moves, uh, seven trades and uh, six winners, etc. So yeah, uh, so far so good and the volatility can only improve and uh, become better as uh, we see uh, uh, the CPI numbers tomorrow and also uh, Bailey's uh, final day of, um, well, you know, if you want to sell it, sell it before Friday. I just, I just can't get my head around that. It's uh, some form of uh, grandstanding, that is. But uh, like I say, I think you'll find it'll be extended beyond Friday because there'll be carnage. But uh, yeah, good trades uh, for yesterday there. So let's uh, move on, have a look at uh, the S&P. S&P down also in that uh, 78, 89 area, trying to move higher overnight as well. Bit of support. So they're trying to hold the market above the lows, whether it's the DAX, the Dow, the FTSE. It's the low that they made at the beginning of October when the yields were 4.75 on the UK gilts. And we had the Bank of England intervention then with the 65 billion. And here we've got um, the S&P 30 minutes, again choppy, and then managing to rally at 2.30 before being slammed back down. Uh, FTSE 100, another down day. Uh, it's going to be affected more than the other markets because of it being the Bank of England, but uh, trading down to 78 after breaking 62% retracement there yesterday. Uh, just a gradual decline with bounces, as you can see there, but ending the day lower as uh, the market moved lower with the Dow. In the currencies, uh, we've got uh, the yen uh, still stuck at that 200 MA, still trying to close back above that at the moment. Obviously, it's dollar dependent at the moment what the dollar's going to do, but we had a bit of a bounce yesterday. Then we had the sell-off in the afternoon when the uh, the dollar index uh, traded on the official markets, uh, trading up overnight, though, to the DP level, but uh, struggling there a bit. In the pound, the one that is of great interest, 50% uh, retracement after the QE bounce. Uh, let's see if this holds. If not, then we're going to go down to uh, the lows of 103. And I wouldn't uh, be at all surprised if we don't see parity before now and Christmas with the US dollar and the pound, as I've said before. 30-minute chart. So again, you can see that uh, major sell-off after Bailey was speaking yesterday afternoon saying you've got three days to sell everything. And uh, we'll wait and see. So the pound are not liking this at all. And finally, in the metals, uh, silver finding a bit of support at 62% retracement yesterday and a bit of a choppy one. But everything was choppy yesterday as uh, the market waits for those CPI numbers sell off late on as the dollar moved higher because obviously the pound moved lower. Dollar moving higher is inversely related to the metals, which is why you're seeing this here. 62% retracement for gold. And in the 30 minute chart, again, you see that uh, sell off created by Bailey himself. Dollar. Moving higher yesterday afternoon. Let's have a look at the 30-minute chart. There's your, your spike to the upside. Everything else down on the basis of the dollar moving higher. That said, we had a bit of a spike down to the DP level overnight. Market has bounced off this, as you can see, because we have a lot of volume coming into the market there. So there we go. Let's uh, see what uh, happens today then. Um, let's see if the Bank of England make any more statements or the market turns negative when it opens uh, after 8 a.m. for the London market, uh, 7 a.m. for the futures, of course, in line with uh, the German DAX 
as well. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.